The drifting is pretty easy in this game. Well, <laughs> if you don't hit the wall. Welcome back to Blar. Random Rick Reviews. We're going to take a look at First Racer by Perfect Games. It costs $2.99 on Steam. It's worth $2.99. It's a good, solid racing game. Budget racing game. Budget racing game. Uh, you do get a lot. So, I eventually got up to the Regenerator, as they call this car, which is, of course, a Lamborghini. Uh, you're going to start out with, like, a BMW, which is a BMG in this game. So, they're not licensed names, but you can definitely tell what kind of cars are available. Supras, uh, Porsches, Lamborghinis, or those type cars. Um, don't need to change that. Uh, you can upgrade your car with quite a lot of stuff. Engine, ECU, turbo, nitro, gearbox, clutch, mass, suspension, tires, brakes, um, drive type. And you can also, actually, me, nitro 3, that's fine. And then you can change your wheel style. It costs money, of course. And you can also tune the car, drift, race, uh, your ABS, traction control, all that stuff. And then you can also buy a kit for spoilers, side skirts. And then, of course, you can paint the car a different color if you want. All right, so we got that. And then mode, you have one player mode, two to four player local racing and multiplayer online. I don't know if it works. I've went in there. Of course, nobody's playing the game. Being an indie game, it's kind of a thing that just happens. Um, you start with your driving test, which is, you know, a pretty easy thing. It's just this one race. And then you go to your championship modes. You have fast start, drift, extreme, endurance. Uh, I don't know if top is the end. So I played the game about two hours. Uh, does have drift modes in it. So it'll be a bunch of racing, then drift down there. But that's enough talk. See how the game actually plays. Go to fast start. Um, sure. Overall, the game looks good. Uh, your car model looks very good. Uh, the other cars kind of have like a little bit of a cell shade around them, it looks like. So you can differentiate, differentiate them from your car, which is nice. Couple camera modes, yeah, first person, the hood, this action cam, um, close rear, middle, and far away. Try to stay, usually stay in the middle. I know some people race in that first person mode, which is pretty crazy. I do that every once in a while, but that's that's not my my go to. Uh, races are pretty short, one to two laps, maybe one to three laps. Uh, everything controls well. Uh, left trigger to brake. Right to excel, A is your nitro, uh, B is your handbrake. The music's okay, kind of fits the game, I think. The road, like the, the track itself is kind of bland, with this like almost mono gray. And the biggest drawback of the game, I think, is the outside environments, like around the tracks are very much the same. From what I can tell, they are kind of like this light blue sky, but it's kind of gray a little bit. So. It kind of makes the game, it gives a little bit of a boring factor to the game. So this game is kind of pick up a play for a couple races and put down because because of the lack of um, environment, it really takes away from like sitting on playing like a lot of it at one time, I think. But that's really the only drawback. Get the nice here, get that race. So it controls well, which is the most important thing about a racing game. The cars will take damage. Let me see if I can... Um, show some damage on the car but it doesn't seem to affect like how your car runs so let's get up to full speed here slam into a wall at maybe try to get over 100 miles an hour there we go so you heard the crash and then you can see a little bit of damage well so you can kind of see the damage there like on the skyline you can really tell so we'll we'll change into a different car and do the drift so you can see that The drifting is pretty easy in this game. Well, <laughs> if you don't hit the wall. So. Uh, let me see if I can get some damage on this car. So you can see the dent in the front. Cars do have damage. But it doesn't, doesn't seem to affect like how they run. The game is fun. 
uh, for a racing game. Except my only complaint is like the lack of environment as far as outside the tracks and how the road, it, the track itself looks. Kind of reminds me of uh, GT Racing on Game Boy Advance. Um, but yeah, let's see. So I'm up to extreme. So I think you have to have an SUV. Yeah, you got to buy SUV for the SUV desert. So it is a desert environment, but I don't know if, if you agree or not, but like the outside of the track still is just kind of that blue with not much going on. Not that that really matters like when you're racing, but I did actually notice it. But these are uh, well, like off-road races. Again, it's a nice change of pace. Let's see if we can make a jump. All right, you can get some air there. First racer, two ninety nine. Uh, if you play it, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, if it's worth it or not. I think it is. I think it's a fair price and a, a pretty good racing game. Thanks so much, Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. It really does help. And thanks.